What is going on guys? It's E17 and I'm back with another No Money Spent episode, episode number 57. The reason I've been doing a lot of these is because there's been so much to go over in my team recently. So we have something huge that has happened. Now I got both Galaxy Opal Rudy and Jerry Lucas. I did go 12-0. So I'm glad I did to be honest because then I get more Opals joining the squad. So Jerry Lucas is incredible. I've used them both for one game each and they're really fun to use. Now they have the same amount of badges and Lucas has base 98 although Rudy has better dribbling animations and stuff. You can see I got Opal Paul Pest. I've done three out of five, so Mark Gasol and Dennis Rodman left to do. And Paul Pest is incredible. He may not be in this squad. Which squad is he? Not either of them. Although he should be able to go into one of my squads. I won't even need to put him in there. But he's a great card other than stepping in from corners. Now let's assemble this squad halfway through June. I will not show my best squad for the rest of the month because then I can do an actual squad reveal at the start of next month which will be July. So at the starting point guard I don't think there's really anyone that will be in front of Dwayne Wade. So there's a Dennis Johnson, Tony Parker, still a decent card. James Harden is good, but not near as good as this Opal Dwayne Wade. So he is starting. Kobe Bryant will be the starting two guard for now. I just don't find Harden tall enough. Paul Pierce is not going to be as great. And Rudy, I'm not sure where I'll put him yet. Now, this is probably where I'll put him. So I've got AD, Hakeem. Glenn Rice will be off the bench. Now, either Rudy will be starting or Jerry Lucas. I'll probably put... Actually, I'll put Jerry Lucas in there. So then I have two base 98 players there. And not... Well, he, he's a bit taller. So he will be great at small forward, hopefully. F2 guard off bench will be Glenn Rice. Small forward off the bench is going to be Rudy. Although I may switch this round. You'll have to see... At the start of next month. Paul Pierce, I don't think he'll... He can't even play for Power Forward. Not sure why I'm mentioning him. Kevin McHale. He is exceptional. So, welcome to the bench Power Forward squad I, spot, I guess. So, at center, I really like Arvida Sabonis as card. But... He's got no clamps, not gold, not Hall of Fame, not even silver, I don't think. Silver, he has chased down artist. His release is nice. I haven't used him in so long. I'm definitely going to have to try him out, but he's not making my squad. I could put Eddie Curry in there, although I'll probably end up selling him. D-Rob, I really like the fact he has Steady Shooter. I do not like Steady Shooter as badge. Although having one player in the squad with Steady Shooter, I quite like it to be honest. I know I hate badge, but when I'm winning, I can put him on and take the most contested shots. And sometimes they actually go in. So I'm going to keep him there. Dave Cowens, obviously you see him there. So Brandon Roy, I really want to keep him in the squad. I don't think I've got anyone that is better 
with Trey Burke base. Walter Davis maybe, but I'm not really going to put a pink diamond in this Opal squad. Now, Paul Pierce could be in there instead. Same with Dave Cowens. I'm just going to quickly check out my Opals here. So, Walt Chamberlain's good enough. Tony Parker's good enough. Worthy's good enough, Harden's good enough, Pierce, Cowens. So there's a lot of Opals I can choose from. Although I'm money with Brandon Roy. So I may as well either pick up DeRozan or keep Roy in the squad. And I have a feeling they'll update Roy. And if they do, I don't want to have purchased DeRozan for 750 tokens. It's not going to be worth it. So I'm keeping Dr. J in there as well with Brandon Roy, but Josh Smith, I think he will be out of squad. I'm going to put in either Worthy, Paul Pierce or Dave Cowens. I do not think Pierce will make squad. Now Worthy probably could, although I'd probably be best to keep Josh Smith in there just to get used to him basically and this Dave Cowens I'm going to put him in the squad because I really like his release I've got it down most of the time and this is basically the squad now Hakeem's in there obviously it's going to be very interesting where to put Larry Bird and Mark Gasol. Dennis Rodman probably won't make squad, but you'll have to see. As you can see, I have 916k. I actually have almost 2 million, but I'm just seeing what the MT site strategy is. As I said in yesterday's video, do not even consider buying from them. It will get you banned. It is not worth the risk and it's affecting the market for everyone basically. I'm going to see how long it takes to get outbid on this MJ because obviously I'm going to be outbid. That I'm not locking in for Kareem. I still do have Danny Manning and Sean Bradley. I'll probably sell Bradley. All depends. But four more players out of them left and I may even pick up this Magic Johnson wow look at his price right now I do not have enough MT wow what did I do putting that bid on Jordan I don't know what I did there but I didn't really need him anyway not too worried about that because I have feeling this magic will probably still be 1.6 million. No one's bid of that bow, probably. And all of these are going to be 1 million or so. I think I'll pick one up before packs go out of the market. Because then his price may go up. Like this MJ's price has. As you can see... 966k now as you can see 3 million he was going for about 2 million I believe but magic he's going to be better than MJ probably because he is 6 foot 9 and he's got the best dribble moves in the game in my opinion so I'm going to pick one of him up that Magic Johnson's up to 1.4 million now. Where is Rashad Lewis at? I want to see his price. 1.6. I'm glad I didn't waste any MT locking that in yet. Probably will lock it in in the future. But for now, I want to save my MT. So hopefully soon I can get this Mark Gasol or this Dennis Rodman, or both, either during the week or by next week. 
But that is basically video. The reason I'm not going into a game with Rudy or Jerry Lucas or Paul Pierce is because I'll probably do gameplays with them as well. But that is the video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe as well as follow me on Twitch, Twitter and Instagram. Bye.